Hello and welcome to 99 Politics. Today, we're starting a series on India's nuclear policy, specifically the no first use policy that India has adopted. Along with China, India is the only nuclear weapon state to have a no first use nuclear weapon policy. Now, what is the background of this no first use policy? Well, it comes about with the 1998 adoption of the no first use or no first strike policy against non-nuclear weapon states or those states allied with other nuclear powers. And it was based on an era of completely different anxieties, completely different geopolitical circumstances. For example, India was still under sanctions for its test of nuclear weapons. The, U the United States was unsupportive and unaccepting of India's adoption of nuclear weapons. In this era, Indian nuclear weapons were for deterrence and as such, other countries, especially the United States, China and Pakistan, it was important to show these countries that this would be a peaceful possession of nuclear weapons and would not turn into any kind of aggression. And that is why in this world of 1998, the no first use policy was extremely important and was also extremely valuable. Now beyond 1998, as global security challenges and relationships evolved, the no first use policy stayed very constant. It was almost or it has always been an unused mm -hmm. weapon. And Later, thanks to the US civil nuclear cooperation deal, the International Atomic Energy Agency approved the safeguards agreement with India because of which the United States approached the Nuclear Suppliers Group to grant a waiver to India to commence a civilian nuclear trade. And the 48-nation Nuclear Suppliers Group granted the waiver to India on September 6, 2008 allowing it to access civilian nuclear technology and fuel from other countries. The implementation of this waiver made India the only known country with nuclear weapons, which is not a part of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, but is still allowed to carry out nuclear commerce with the rest of the world. So the no first use policy has had its benefits. India's geopolitical position has certainly been helped by the adoption of a no first use policy. But as we'll find out in later videos, this policy hasn't really been an absolute no first use policy, so it's not really a guarantee. And it might not be as important as we might think it is. To watch more about that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video so that you won't miss the next video on India's nuclear policy. Thank you. I'll see you all in the next one.